Whoa! What's going on here? Check out this old safety relay. Huh. What model is this? MSR 130. Oh! Whoa! Hello, I am Sir Guardmaster. I'm here to grant you three machine safety wishes. How may I be of safety service? Well, hello, Sir Guardmaster. Uh, funny you should ask, I have always wished to connect up a bunch of different safety devices into one of these relays and still maintain high integrity in my safety design. Is that your first wish? Yes, I wish for lots of safety inputs. Ta-da! What do you think? Wow, nice demo. What do you call it? It's GuardLink. Notice the new DG safety relay, which stands for Dual GuardLink. Each relay can accept up to 32 safety devices in series per channel, so 64 total devices into one relay. 64? That is amazing! And exactly what I wanted. Can you mix and match the different type of safety input devices, such as e-stops and light curtains? Absolutely! Notice in the demo there is an e-stop along with two different types of door interlocks wired in series. The e-stop is an electromechanical device with dry contacts, while the door interlocks are electronic devices with OSSD outputs, just like a light curtain or laser scanner. When connected over GuardLink, these three components in series still meet the highest safety performance level of PLE. So how about that second wish? That's incredible. Okay, well since we're talking about safety relays, it would be nice to have easy wiring and visibly be able to see the status of each safety device. There is nothing worse than wiring a bunch of e-stops and door switches in series, then having to try and troubleshoot which door is opened or which e-stop is pressed. Ah, I know exactly what you mean. So is that a request? Yes, I wish for local indication. Perfect. Let there be local indication. Wow. Look at the lights on these connection components. Those are called guard link taps. Notice the two green lights per tap. The one on the top shows the status of the local device and the link symbol on the bottom shows if there is a break in the chain. Go ahead and hit the e-stop. Okay. Astounding. Check it out. Both LEDs went red on the e-stop tap, showing me the local device's status. And the other taps flash green if they're okay, but the link stayed red. Does it work this way on the uh, door switch here? This is amazing. How did you do this? Little voice of customer, a group think tank, and some amazing Rockwell automation engineers. So, final wish? Um, I guess if I was going to wish for them possible, it would be to allow this GuardLink product to be capable of remote reset, the ability to lock and unlock guard locking devices through a network, remote troubleshooting, and full monitoring capabilities. Hold up! That is way more than one thing. You just listed off four more wishes. Sounds like some fancy diagnostics. No, yes! I wish for full diagnostics over guard link! How did you do that? Sir Guardmaster, your safety relay just got a huge upgrade. Check this out. We have Ethernet comms going from the HMI to the PLC to our safety relay via this side Ethernet adapter. I can visually get indication of each device on the HMI remotely. And yes, I can even unlock the guard locking switch with the touch of a button. Open the door, close it, lock it. I bet you can even send all this data to your Rockwell Automation PLC to troubleshoot remotely and track the frequency each device is tripped. Not to mention a remote reset on your HMI to the safety relay. This is unbelievable. GuardLink allows for up to 64 devices to easily be wired in series. It meets the highest safety performance level of the safety rated devices, all the while providing local indication and remote diagnostics. Sir Guardmaster, you're amazing. Okay, your three wishes are complete. Stay safe, my friend, and cheerio. Thank you. And you... Where'd he go? Sweet. 
He left his demo. 